Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and we recently talked about a free app for the iPad which enables you to create very powerful uh, control systems for your different applications. One can be Pro Tools, of course, that then you can use to uh, control and do all sorts of things. Now, the cool thing is there's an in-app purchase called Flow, which enables you to create macros of key commands. And uh, I've created a few already just to give you an idea of the kind of thing you can do. Uh, so, for example, I've got these two bits of audio on the timeline. If I hit this button, Quantize Audio, it takes them, it slices them at the transients, and then it puts them on the grid. And there we are, we have it all sliced up on the grid and moved around. That's just an example, gives you an idea of what you can do. Uh, I'm just going to undo that again. Just to show you how that works then, if you want to start using this, is if we come into the, here's the button. So this is a button, this little kind of three waves at the top there, that doesn't exist unless you buy the in-app purchase for Flow. After that, then as you can see, you can build up quite cool things. So it does the enter key, then it's command A for selecting all the audio. Uh, I've created a new shortcut by using the shortcut creator in my Mac uh, OS and that now uses Control and S to separate at transients. Then I'll have the enter key because it will open, it's opening up a dialog window when I do that. So if I show you this, if I want to actually do that, I would go separate clip at transients. There's my new, as you can see, it needs an enter key twice. So enter key twice to get that down. Then I've asked it to wait a second and that, that's possible if we come here. There's a timer input on the actions. Wait is part of what you get with flow. If you come this way through these, you'll find the next one there is wait. We'll ask it to wait a second because it needs a little bit of time just to just to process the earlier stuff that uh, Pro Tools has done. And then the final command is command zero to quantize it to the grid. And obviously the grid is here. And as long as that grid's set to a 16th or whatever it is, that's all now been quantized to the grid. And there we are, we have it done now, and that's called Quantize Audio. I can change the name and the color. So now if I hit that button, Pro Tools goes through and does it all automatically. Now, obviously you could do anything you want with this. Uh, another one I've done is New Master Fader. So it opens up the, the New Tracks dialog and creates an automatic master fader for me. Or I've got a new instrument track. So all of those things are possible. And all by using the Flow application that comes as an in-app purchase for, I think, 79p which is probably 99 cents in America, for uh, this really cool application uh, called Actions for the iPad. Now, the cool thing about this app is it's not just limited to one app. So if I go different sets in there, so I've got Pro Tools, Studio One, and down here somewhere I've got Final Cut as well. So those are all my favorites, and you can use them and do so. I've got different things for Studio One setup than I have got for Pro Tools, all in one application. So there we are. hope that's been inspirational. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.